<laughs> so we have a hilarious clip here to be looking at. It's from Tommy Laren, so I'm sure you guys aren't expecting much, but you'll get a good, very good laugh out of this. So you guys know about the Michelle Wolf White House Correspondents Dinner uh, comedy sketch that she gave, uh, and the right wingers and Republicans were triggered beyond belief. And you know, I talked about this when I talked about Dave Chappelle coming out and supporting Michelle Wolf. And what we're going to be looking at here is Tommy Lahren, you guys know, the person who claims that the left always creates these victim complexes. And trust me, in certain cases, they do. I agree. But most of the time, she's just bullshitting. You know, they create victim complexes. They don't like free speech. Their snowflakes is the new term, the snowflake term. I did. She did like an anti-snowflakeism ad. And what we are going to be seeing is Tommy Lahren, the snowflake, Melting beyond belief. Feminists, please explain why is it sexist to attack liberal females, but funny to attack conservative women? Oh, it's time for final thoughts. Saturday's White House Correspondents Dinner proved once again that hate, sexism, and bullying isn't tolerated unless it's aimed at conservatives or the Trump administration. Then it's comedy. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts. And then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. <laughs> like maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies. And I'm never really sure what to call Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You know, is it Sarah Sanders? Is it Sarah Huckabee Sanders? Is it cousin Huckabee? Is it auntie Huckabee Sanders? Like what's Uncle Tom but for white women who disappoint other white women? Oh, oh, I know, Aunt Coulter. Wow. The leftists, comedians, and journalists operate on one standard, the double standard. Can you imagine the uproar if Sarah Huckabee Sanders was a Democrat? And Michelle, I'll admit, you are clever and witty, but you crossed the line. Not only did Sarah Sanders look beautiful, she was the epitome of class and elegance. She embodies everything the feminists claim to advocate for. She's a tough, accomplished, and intelligent woman, a true symbol of female empowerment. And Michelle, she has more wit and class in her pinky than you do in your entire body, so take notes. This dinner claims to be a celebration of top-notch journalists and the free and independent media. It wasn't. It was rude, vulgar, and disturbing. He thinks abortion is murder, which first of all, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> and when you do try it, really knock it. You know, you gotta get that baby out of there. Listen, we all expected knocks of the Trump administration, but that, that is just too far. The left has resorted to this kind of humor is that all they have? And I don't blame Wolf. She was being herself a left-wing, former Daily Show contributor with a Netflix show to promote. She did her job, and honestly, I think Sarah Sanders is strong enough to take it. It's the White House Correspondents Association that should have known better. Were they really surprised at the vulgarity and tastelessness? I doubt it. They allowed her the platform to become a new hero of the resistance. Is that what this dinner is for? As for the association president's statement Sunday, which called Wolf's monologue not in the spirit of the group's mission, why bother to apologize for something you knew was going to happen? All this did was reinforce the notion that hoity-toity coastal journalists are completely out of touch with Americans, reality, and good taste. The more our president achieves, the more they hate him and his supporters. Donald Trump didn't create the leftist media's ugly side, he just exposed it. Those are my final thoughts from L.A. God bless and take care. First, I just wanted to say how off-putting the, her delivery is. It always seems like she's super angry and she really is, like, just is very uncomfortable. And sometimes I get angry when I'm doing stories and I almost like want to stop because I don't want to look like that. That's horrible. So anyways, but outside of that, it was so obvious how, how much uh, hypocrisy was going on there. Again, like I mentioned earlier... People who are claiming as if this was something crazy, I'm going to read you guys Michelle Wolf's response to something that Mika Brzezinski sent out saying that uh, we need to unite and support women because this was a disgusting attack on Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Now, here's what Michelle Wolf said in response to Mika on Twitter. She said, why are you guys making this about Sarah's looks? I said she burns facts and uses the eyelash to create a perfect smoky eye. I, compl I complimented her makeup and her ingenuity of material. So what she's saying is, hey, I was making a joke about her because she spits out lies 
on nonstop on a literal daily basis. And this is what this is what people who are the press secretaries have to do, whether you like it or not. And she's a complete, you know, person who we should not trust at all. And she's terrible because she's lying on a daily basis for the Trump administration. And we know that we've seen it literally on a daily basis, massively on a daily basis. And so what you're looking at here is her just making a joke about that. And again, she says perfect smoky eyes in like an actual compliment. But somehow people are now going to claim that it's a personal looks attack. Where? When? How? How was that a, a looks attack when she said it was perfect? And when she wasn't even talking about that, she was talking about using lies to basically make a, you know, makeup shit on her eyes, whatever. Basically, this is just so, it's so ridiculous. Now, the other front of this is, there's multiple lines of hypocrisy here. Because first of all, like I said, she did an anti-snowflakeism ad. She always rails against snowflakes. She always claims that the left is always creating victim complexes. And they're trying to silence free speech and all this other stuff. And so it's like, look at what you're doing right now. You're melting like the biggest snowflake I've ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen a snowflake bigger than this in my entire life. And it's melting right before my eyes. And I must say, it's pretty fucking funny to watch, watch this snowflake melt. Because the hypocrisy knows no bounds. Now, the third front of this is the fact that supporting the Trump administration, right, and being a Trump supporter while he called women fat pigs, you know, while trying to have like an argument, Megyn Kelly said that she was bleeding from wherever, and he said that, you know, John McCain's not a hero because he was captured when he was a draft dodger who was a big old pussy who wouldn't go to war, but then tries to criticize, has the gall to criticize John McCain who actually went to war in Vietnam and had, you know, went through a lot. He was tortured. He was a POW, prisoner of war, and this cowardly bitch didn't even go. He dodged a draft. This is the same guy who made fun of a disabled reporter in any sane nation, a man who makes fun of any person who's disabled, especially in the way that this piece of garbage did, that person should automatically be disqualified by every day, everybody. People should be like, whoa, this dude made fun of a dis disabled person? Fuck this pampered little bitch. But no, you defended him the whole way through. And you're claiming that everyone is, everyone's snowflakes. But look who's melting now. It's you. And that's the truth. You are the real snowflake.